and um, Azaro. <clears throat> um, good morning, good morning, Pastor Simon, and good morning, brothers and sisters in America, and good evening, uh, brothers and sisters uh, on the other side, on our side here in Asia, Australia. Uh, I don't know kung kasama natin from from Dubai is also here. A good afternoon. We thank the Lord for another time na makapag-study uh, tayo ng kanyang word. Um, is my is my signal clear? Clear lang po. Clear lang yung voice. Okay? Yes. Yes, Pastor. Yeah. <clears throat> so last week, uh, let me let me share my screen first. Uh, Say not piano lesson ang anak ko. Anyway, um, last week we we started Matthew chapter fourteen, and we we learned here about another Herod, and that's a Herod that he passed the son of one of the sons or one of the children of King Herod, the one who tried to kill Jesus when he was a baby. Uh, pero si Herod Antipas actually, uh, he, he ruled, he ruled um, Galilee at Perea. Ito yung northern portion ng, 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 ng Israel uh, because of the south, remember, si Archelaus and later on dahil Archelaus was not really a good leader he was deposed at uh, pinalitan siya ng ng uh, kay kay Pilate uh, uh, I think I don't know if there's a person before um if there's a person um before him which was appointed basta uh, si si Pilate no, naging someone nag, naging hindi siya naging monarch um Si Herod Antipas, um, practically, he was the earthly leader of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kung, kung ang mga uh, Pharisees and the scribes and the Sadducees, ito yung naging really, uh, spiritual leaders ni Jesus Christ during his time. Si Herod Antipas, because Jesus Christ was from Galilee, siya yung, ito yung naging parang... Uh, naging leader niya naging kumbaga ito yung naging governor niya <laughs> uh, uh, o, o kaya itong naging Duterte ni Jesus Christ because um, Herod Antipas uh, ru- ruled uh, Galilee and Perea from 4 BC 4 BC to around 39 39 AD so si Jesus Christ more or less dumating dito a little early sa 4 BC rin. So, si, si King, King Herod um, actually uh, died uh, a little bit after na he tried to kill Jesus. And Herod Antipas right away ruled. So, Jesus was a baby when, when uh, was a young child when uh, Herod Antipas became his leader. Hanggang, hanggang the time na na si Jesus Christ went to heaven, si Herod Antipas pa rin itong naging leader ni, ni Jesus Christ. I mean, naging leader ng, ng Galilee where Jesus Christ grew up. At, uh, and, and we said that, uh, that last time, si Herod, sa inyong discussion with Pastor Wilmer, no, he, kung, kung ma-observe mo, mo dito, um, Herod was fearing uh, he had a, a wrong kind of fear because number one he did not fear god uh, must uh he when when he was confronted by john the baptist kasi itong si herod uh pumunta siya ng um after his father died pumunta siya ng rome to si herod antipas because he was hoping that he will be declared as king and and uh, I think he was hoping to take over yung lahat na, na kingdom ng father niya, which, of which si yung, yung Caesar during that time did not, did not grant it. 
uh, inonor ni Cesar yung will ni 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 Herod na Herod the Great yung nag-try to kill kay Jesus Christ when he was a baby na i-divide ang kanyang kingdom sa kanyang sa kanyang three sons. So while naka-standby doon si 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 Herod Antipas, nagstay siya sa isang kapatid niya. Oh. At doon niya na met yung asawa ng kapatid niya na si Herodias at na in love siya. Oh. So ang ang ginawa ni ni King Herod Uh, ni, King, ni Herod Antipas, he divorced his wife at dinalaya itong si, si Herodias. And Herodias being an, an ambitious lady also, um, sumama sa kay Herod Antipas at iniwan yung kanyang asawa. Pero very, <laughs> ang, ang complications nito kasi si Herod Antipas uh, at saka si si Herodias related din sila halos pamangkin i think sa half half brother ni ni Herod Antipas so this is how parang nagkalabo-labo na and and because of this John the Baptist confronted king king Herod because yung ginawa niya of of uh, stealing the wife of his brother is that really really nice but but because ayaw niya he he sees no pinadakip niya si John si John the Baptist so makita natin dito that king herod uh did not fear god instead of of repenting um pinahuli niya si si John pero later on hindi niya rin pinapatay si John the Baptist because he fears the people because the people of that land considered uh, John the Baptist as, as a prophet. Uh, so, so he feared the people of Galilee or, or, or Israel during that time compared to God. Uh, and, and we know the story uh, na sumayaw yung anak ni Herodias and, and because he was probably drunk and he was uh, on the heights of his uh, pride. So he said, uh, just ask anything. If you want, we're going to divide the kingdom 50-50. <clears throat> so the the daughter of Herodias went to to her mom and asked, "Kung ano wa, if there my suggestion ka, because uh, si Tito Herod is uh, uh, is demanding that I should tell him kung ano yung kung anong, anong gusto gusto niyang, gusto kong pride." And then Herodias, because of her hatred to uh, John the Baptist, she said, na, just ask for the head of John the Baptist. And, and manotis natin doon na si Herod, be, ayaw niya sana, but because of, he said this in, in the presence of the nobles, in the presence of his army, of uh, the aristocrat probably of that Uh, of the society, uh, he's afraid of what these people would think of him. <laughs> Yun. And so he he decided, he ordered the killing of of John the Baptist. And, and, diba, napakalungkot. and I think yan rin ang nangyayari ngayon dito sa mundo. People are more afraid of of uh, ordinary people oh, compared to God oh, mas natakot sila sa 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 tao kaysa pag Panginoon they are they were also afraid kung ano ang iisipin ng ibang tao compared to what would God think of them uh, and, and and that is why probably that's another reason why yung maraming Christians na that they are not sharing the gospel because Uh, they are afraid that they get uh, they will offend people uh, baka anong isipin ng mga friends niya uh, anong isipin ng mga tao rather than kung ano ang isipin ng Panginoon because it's not uh, they're not obeying the command of the Lord to go and make disciples of all nations and i hope that is not true with you actually si si Herod if you're going to 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 go to other other chapters 
uh, other portions of the scripture sa book of Luke. Uh, sinabi doon na si isa sa mga asawa ng mga officials ni King Herod is a supporter of the Lord Jesus Christ. Parang uh, minister of, of finance. And, and I believe na yung message ni Jesus Christ had already, had already reached uh, King Herod, Herod Antipas. But, uh, but he was not, uh, he was not, uh, um, ayaw niyang siguro uh, tagapin uh, because of, of pride. In fact, uh, dito sa 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 Luke chapter sorry, chapter 13 verse 31 um, according to the Bible here at that very hour some Pharisees came and said to him get away from here for Herod wants to kill you. So the Pharisees told Jesus na dapat umalis ka na ngayon because Herod wanted to to kill you. I don't know back yet. But here, si, si Herod Antipas, just like his his father, naging kontrabida rin sa life ni Jesus. But look at what Jesus to, uh, said. Sinabi niya, go and tell that fox. <laughs> Behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow and the third day. I finish my course. Nevertheless, I must go on my way today and tomorrow and the day following. For it cannot be that a prophet should perish away from Jerusalem. So, sinabi ni Jesus Christ, uh, sinabi niya, you tell, you tell that uh, fox or, or wise guy uh, that I am ca- casting out demons, I am performing cures today and tomorrow. And to say, Jesus Christ, you know, my my plan will continue. <laughs> My plan will continue. And and today and tomorrow and the following day. And according to him, I cannot I cannot die unless it will happen in Jerusalem. Because Jesus Christ was actually looking forward sa kanyang crucifixion. So so you could see here Jesus Christ was not was not impressed, was not scared by, by King Herod Antipas. <laughs> Why? Because, because he's God. No one can touch him. No one, no one can touch him unless he would allow it. And that's how, how, um, how great uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is. Pero, um, I should bring you to another text here. I hope na okay lang sa inyo. Sa Luke chapter 23. Kasi finally, si, si Jesus Christ had, had the opportunity, or it's not Jesus Christ, but Herod Antipas had the opportunity to meet Jesus Christ. And because of his, yung hardness ng heart niya, and because yung, yung pride niya, and because of probably what he did to John the Baptist, I don't know if he also hurt other, other, other Jews. He had a cold shoulder treatment from the Lord Jesus Christ. Kasi dito sa Luke chapter 6, if you know, if you remember, uh, na si, si Pilate was trying to to parang he was trying to uh, his best to release the Lord Jesus Christ because he he he, he really knew that si Jesus Christ was uh, innocent he he is really convinced that the people these religious leaders were against the Lord Jesus Christ because um Nainggit lang sila. Oh. So, so Pilate knew, and, and of course, we, we, we've learned that, uh, especially kung matagal ka na sa church, because every um, Lenten season, we talk about this. Oh. And, and among, 
the things na pinasalamatan ni Pilate was to to refer the case of the Lord Jesus Christ kay Herod because probably that can help provide uh, opportunity na na ma-release na hindi niya magiging problema si Jesus Christ. So according to verse 6 dito, then Pilate heard this and he asked whether the man was a Galilean. And when he learned that he belonged to Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him over to Herod who was himself in Jerusalem at that time. Verse 8, when Herod saw Jesus, he was very glad. <laughs> oh, finally, oh, for he had long desired to see him because he had heard about him and he was hoping to see some signs done by him. You see, he was interested to see Jesus not because he wanted to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Gusto niyang magiging parang performer si Jesus Christ. He wanted no, parang uh, Jesus to entertain him. So, since Jesus knew what was on the mind, so he questioned him at some length. And dami siguro ng tanong over and over again. No comment. Pagkatapos, the chief priests and the scribes would buy vehemently accusing him. And Herod, with soldiers, treated him with contempt and mocked him. And arraying him in splendid clothing, he sent back to Pilate and became friends with each other that very day. For before this, they had been an, uh, at enmity with each other. You see, ang last the opportunity sana kay Herod because of what he heard about the Lord Jesus Christ instead of instead of listening to the message of the Lord Jesus Christ gusto niyang maging entertainer si Jesus and Jesus Christ did not want he's a savior he's not an entertainer he's Lord and that is why wala walang 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 comment and and I think it's it's really really sad, really really sad. Because hindi lang yung mga, as I said earlier, hindi lang yung mga religious leaders became hardened because of their unbelief to the message of the Lord Jesus Christ. But even the earthly leader of the Lord Jesus Christ, imagine in front of him, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, one who is way greater than Jonah, one who is way greater than Solomon. It could have been an opportunity for him to understand what right life really means and, and how can a person be saved. And yet, because of pride, because of, because of uh, his wickedness, his heart is already hardened. And that is why maraming, marami ring naging hero <laughs> Uh, sa mga tao, they just love to to know yung mga, yung mga magic to Jesus, yung miracles. They look at Jesus Christ as someone, as, as a good person, as a good prophet. Uh, they they look at Jesus Christ as someone who, who did miracles. But they don't want to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ for who he really is. And that he is the sent one, the does the Lamb of God, who will take away the sins of the world. And also the fact that Nasi Jesus Christ is really, really God. And I think Siguro, uh, uh, that is one thing right now. Now we should bear bear up, bear in mind. Baka nandito ka and. You just like the Lord Jesus Christ because of his philosophy, of his teachings, yung mga moral lessons na makukuha mo sa kanya. But you haven't really um, believed na siya lang ang tagapagligtas. That he's the only one who can pay for your sins. I hope right now, right now you're gonna talk to him and say, Jesus, 
I'm a sinner and there's no way that I can pay for for my sin. But thank you for coming down and die on the cross for my sins and that he rose from the dead and and that whoever believes in you that you alone can save you promise that we will not perish i will not perish but have eternal life so lord please forgive me of all my sins cleanse me and change me and use me for your glory i hope all of us that are here right now would not miss that kind of experience sa buhay. Pero may isang interesting <clears throat> interesting uh, portion dito. Uh, according to to verse 10. <clears throat> he sent and had John beheaded in the prison and his head was brought on a platter and given to the girl and she brought it to her mother and his disciples came and took the body and buried it and they went and told Jesus so kinuha nila yung katawan ni yung mga disciples ni John kinuha nila ang katawan ni, ni John and they told Jesus. They told Jesus. Pero ito yung parang for me very very interesting reaction ni Jesus Christ. And I think siguro I don't know kung nabasa niyo itong passage would would also lead you to question. Now when Jesus heard this. Ano 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 ang nadinig ni Jesus? I believe this refers to the news about John the Baptist. Anong nangyari? According to verse 13, he withdrew himself, he withdrew, and from there in a boat to a desolate place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns, and he went ashore and saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them, and healed their sick. Now, when it was evening, uh, the disciples came to him and said, this is a desolate place and the day is now over. Send the crowds to go into the village and buy food for themselves. And <clears throat> Lord, napaka unfair naman. Bakit? When, when, when you were told na si John the Baptist, pinatay ni Herod, bakit hindi mo tinulungan? Because John the Baptist uh, did mighty things. He's the one na, na pinadala ng, ng Panginoon. He's the one that introduced you to the world as the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. He's a great preacher. He, he, he preached with conviction to, to the point that he's not afraid even it would hurt the most powerful uh, person in, in the area, namely uh, Herod Antipas. Pagkatapos ng pinatay si John the Baptist, why is it na unlike sa ginawa niya kay Lazarus, unlike sa ginawa niya yung sa anak ng ng Victorian, unlike sa uh, yung anak ng ng with a widow sa doon sa name na which papunta na sila ng cemeteryo but they met the Lord Jesus Christ so the Lord Jesus Christ uh, healed uh, the dead man he 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 made that that person alive again bakit hindi si John the Baptist bakit hindi si John the Baptist i think Para sa akin, maybe the same reason rin kung if si Joseph, yung earthly father niya, died and Jesus Christ did not did not uh, think it would be best to, to raise Joseph from the dead. In the same way rin sa kay, kay, 
okay, John the Baptist. Now, and he just went to, he, he, he withdrew there in a boat <clears throat> to a de desolate place by himself. Hindi niya tinulungan si, si John the Baptist. Because I believe na hanggang dyan lang. Hanggang dyan lang yung work ni John the Baptist. Although, during that time, I think John the Baptist is still a very young person, probably 31, 32 years old. Very young. Pero, that's a reality in life. Kaya nga may, may sinasabi sila na we are immortal until our work is done. And, and I believe siguro when Jesus Christ withdrew himself from to, to a desolate place by himself, siguro I believe na may welcome niya muna si, si hindi ito, wala ito sa scripture ha, but I, I, I believe na nag-talk siya sa father and probably they will welcome John the Baptist for a job well done. Kung uh, na-notice ninyo doon sa Sa, uh, sa Matthew chapter 12 na uh, about about John the Baptist when the Lord Jesus Christ said sinabi niya na no prophet is greater than John the Baptist and that's already a commendation from the Lord Jesus Christ himself at hindi naman yung hindi naman yung how yung yung quality ni of life, uh, ang, ang significance ng life natin, it's not measured by how long we stay here on earth. Diba? But have we done our mission for the glory of God? Kung titingnan mo sa, sa, sa Genesis chapter 5, yung parang yung mga descendants ni, ni Seth, kung manotice mo, Ang laki ng agwat. Uh, you compare the life of Enoch and the life of Methuselah. And si Enoch, mga 300 years lang. And Methuselah, 969. But according to, to the Bible, because Enoch walked with God, the Lord felt it best to call him early. Although he did not die, he was, he was brought to heaven life. And, the, and, and, and that is why uh, hindi yan sa haba ng buhay again yung that we could count uh, we could consider uh, yung, yung sign kung significant ang, ang life nyo sa Panginoon. It is in our obedience. Just like Apostle Paul sabihin natin na I have fought a good fight I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. And and I believe can it ito si, si this is John the Baptist. When he when he went to heaven finally uh, for sure I believe that he was commended. Uh, grabe ang grabe ang applause because he was a martyr for God. Pagkatapos if we are to ask, did John the Baptist do his role to to introduce the the coming Messiah? Yes, he did that. At kung manotis ninyo, he was yung yung life ni John the Baptist. I think na discuss natin ito when when we study the book of of John. Makikita natin na he was really really popular. Pero instead of getting more popular, 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 parang uh, he kept on yung decreasing, going to the sidelines. Uh, sidelines hanggang he was isolated na sa, pre sa prison cell. Why? Because para sa kanya, he, he, si Jesus Christ must increase and he must decrease. And that is why the Lord thought it best na kung mag man siya sa mundo, because his work is done. God felt it best that he will die a martyr. He would die a martyr. And and for sure, and for sure, 
when he would face God, <laughs> he would say that he would be very, very grateful that he died that way. Yeah. Because he's actually a martyr. And just like rin sa mga disciples of Jesus Christ, just like Apostle Paul, after serving the Lord really, really well, uh, suffering really, really well for the gospel, anong ginawa ng Panginoon? He, he allowed Apostle Paul to die a martyr because dying as a martyr is a privilege. No, it's a privilege. And that is why sinasabi ko palagi na huwag kayong matakot na if, if uh, sa mga tao na uh, if they're going to hurt you or even to kill you kasi yung martyrdom uh, binibigay lang yon sa mga worthy. <laughs> uh, binibigay lang yon sa mga worthy. So if you are not you're living your life according to the will of God I don't think God will give us that privilege to to die a martyr. So so overall, overall makikita natin dito na sa life ni ni John the Baptist. Uh, it may be very very short but he fulfilled everything that the Lord had commanded him. And God honored him for that. Okay? May mga questions kayo? Maybe this is good na lang sa, sa question and answer. May questions kayo? Yes, Pastor. Uh, ah, sige, Brett. Uh, do you think Jesus gave um, John the Baptist warning bago siya pumunta doon kay Herod and say something uh si Jesus Christ uh, wala uh, wala naman sa wala naman dito sa scripture i don't think so kasi John the Baptist was siguro pina pick up lang siya pero the, the bible is not clear how he was how he was uh ang tawag dito how he was arrested pero if you remember sa so John chapter uh chapter 3 um ang mga disciples ni John, John the Baptist nagreklamo na because he said, Master, uh, Rabbi, Teacher, uh, yung remember yung binaptize mo, uh, referring to the Lord Jesus Christ. Sinabi niya, ngayon, nagbabaptize na sila ngayon and all the people are going there. <laughs> are all the people are going there. So sinabi ni, ni, Jesus, ni John the Baptist, yeah, wala tayong na we don't have anything unless it was given to him by heaven. So kahit yung ministry, kahit na yung product ng, ng ministry, hindi magiging atin unless God would grant. Sinabi niya, just like in the wedding, siya ang bridegroom, ako best man lang. <laughs> Dito lang ako sa gilid. So, and, and when Jesus Christ, indeed, when Jesus Christ started his ministry, si, si John the Baptist just just work on the sidelines until he was arrested and killed by him. Yun ang siguro, Brad. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, bin- uh, he was beheaded in Jordan, right? Um, yeah, hindi lang ako sigurado. Basta uh, sa territory, of course, ni ni King Herod. There was may isang documentary akong nakita na probably he was behead, he beheaded there. Uh, maybe sa city ng Sipores, sa, sa Galilee area rin. Uh, pero I'm not really sure kung, kung doon talaga. Basta okay. malapit. Malapit siguro sa Jordan River rin. Okay. And uh, his body was buried in Damascus area? Um, may mga may mga may mga idea si, sila may mga pero wala namang sa bible eh. so it's more of traditions uh, pero hindi bas, pero ang bible did not say sinabi lang na his disciples buried him and they told Jesus Christ na pinatay ni Herod si John the Baptist thank you pastor and i think even think, the islam yeah and even the islams i think uh 
consider him as prophet John. Um, hindi ako sigurado pero um, may, maybe I, I should know. Uh, hindi, I'm not aware of that. Uh, uh, i-check, ko, i-check ko lang. Uh, but hindi ako sure. Kung, alam ko sina Elijah, Elisha, mga mga kanyan, mga some of of people na parang kinakonsider nila. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Brad. Meron pa ba? Hello, Pastor. Good evening. Hi, good evening, sis. Good morning sa lahat. And Pastor, I just have a question. Kasi, we discussed this in Matthew 11. I'm really, I'm really questioning this pa. Why did John pa sent his disciples, oh. two of his disciples, and then ask pa ba, are you the one coming? Did he waver at some point? What was this about? Yung, yung ganito ba na faith? Why, why is it that we see him as very, very strong and, you know, as a witness for Christ, but then at this chapter, eto lang, can you shed a little light here lang, Pastor, kasi bakit pa siya nagtanong, no? So, is this a sign of May, meron pa siyang tanong? Did this faith okay. waver at this time? Yeah, sandali, I need, I need to, I need to check. Um, dalawang, dalawang schools of thought yan, sister. Okay. Yeah, it's possible na, it's, it's possible na, na, that medyo nag-waver siya. Oh. Uh, pwede rin na, na he said that, uh, you ask you ask Jesus kung, kung if uh, if he's the Messiah maybe ang followers din ni John uh, are already questioning rin why is it that John the Baptist is in the the in prison and Jesus Christ seem to be not not doing anything else so so sinabi ni John the Baptist you ask the Lord Jesus Christ kung ano ako uh, pero may may isa ring may isa ring point of view na tinatawag na na allusion biblical allusion uh, biblical allusion and and i think uh, mas maganda doon kung ito kung if we're going to the scripture itself na sandali and we will go to we will go dito sa Matthew chapter 11 Yung biblical allusion, ito yung parang, uh, I think I, I discussed it uh, dati, na biblical all- allusion, it's ito yung parang because yung mga Israelites, they knew the scriptures. So kung mag-quote ka lang ng certain portion of the scriptures, alam na nila kung ano yung kahulugan ng the rest. Like, um, like ako, uh, sabihin ko, Sister Mary Grace, uh, I'm I'm worried wor, wor, uh, I'm worrying kasi uh, baka wala na akong pera tomorrow. And then sabihin mo na lang, sinabi mo, Pastor, siki first lang. Uh, at alam ko na yung ibig mong sabihin. <laughs> uh, because you were referring to Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Na when, nung sinabi mo na siki first the kingdom of God, Ang, ang ibig sabihin mo na I just seek the kingdom of God because all my needs will be added to me. Diba? So you're alluding when you started, uh, when you just tell, told me that uh, of, uh, of Matthew 6.33. So when, when, when John the Beloved uh, not, not John the Beloved John the Baptist went, went to the Lord Jesus Christ um so let me take note natin ito yung question niya are you the one who is to come or shall we look for another for another uh i don't know kung familiar ka ng 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 verse sa Isaiah the spirit of the lord came upon me uh ano nga yung verse na yun uh, to proclaim Ito rin yung sinabi ni, ni Jesus Christ sa Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4 na lang. 
sorry ha. Uh, <laughs> it's an Isaiah 61. Yeah, Isaiah. So something like this. Ito na lang. He went to, ito sinabi niya. Na, Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Ito yung, ito yung, ito yung ang Messiah. Yung ginawa ng, ng Messiah. Sinabi niya, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor, he to set me uh, to set. Uh, he has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovering the sight of the blind, to set uh, those of liberty uh, who are oppressed to proclaim the Lord's favor. And kung manotis nyo. So, sinabi niya, go tell John, the blind receive, the lame walk, the lepers cleanse, the deaf ears, the dead raised, and the poor have good news preached to them. Blessed is the one who is not offended in me. Kung notice mo dito, hindi sinabi ni Jesus Christ na release in prison. Di ba? Di po ba? Yes, Pastor. Yeah. So, so according to, kasi he's a parang parang uh, biblical archaeologist kaya so sinabi niya actually ito yung allusion that uh, John the Baptist was was actually asking kung kung there's a possibility na pwede siyang makalabas sa sa prison because he's the ano he's the he's the Messiah and isang isang gagaw, gagawin ng Messiah is to release people from prison. Pero sinabi ni Jesus na, yeah, tell John, itong gagawin ko. The blind receive, lame walk, lepers, cleanse, deaf, uh, cleanse and deaf ear, uh, dead are raised, wala dun yung release ang prisoner. And, and take note, ito yung last niya. Blessed is the one who is not offended by me. Because he did not include ito yung release uh, possible release in in prison so he just tell according sa lecture na ito this is a way for Jesus Christ to tell John na he will not be able to leave the prison so mm -hmm. uh, uh, so ito yung ito yung itong meaning ng ng passage na ito so it's it's not much na Si John the Baptist wavered sa kanyang faith, but it's more on an inquiry. Because that's a biblical allusion na practice nila nung una. Ganon din sa ganon din sa John chapter eight yung bakit si Jesus uh, after na sinabi niya na who kung sino yung nagcommit sin, uh, what's not committed sin, throw the first stones, di ba? Yes. Uh, so, he was referring, I think, sa Ezekiel ba yun or, or Jeremiah na, na, ang, na ang mga tao na, na who would, I, I forgot the exact line, but he, the Lord will write their names into the earth. You know? So that's why they see Jesus was writing on the earth. So he was, he was really referring doon na the Lord knows the heart of the people at kung Kung wicked ka, you will be written on earth. That is why no one dared to throw a stone sa, sa babae. Doon. So those are biblical allusions na, na, which is very familiar sa mga tao during that time because ang book nila during that time, ang Bible lang, wala naman silang masyadong book na available at yung naging textbook ng mga tao sa Israel. And that is why when Jesus would, would discuss things like this, uh, well, people understood what uh, Jesus meant. I don't know. Mm -hmm. ang, uh, so, so the long schools of thought, yan. So, number one, maybe the waiver si John the Baptist, that's why he questioned. Or this is a a biblical allusion, just asking the Lord Jesus Christ, kung makakaalis pa siya sa sa prison, sa sa sa, sa, uh, sa prison. I, 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 I believe on the second one, Pastor. Ah, 
I believe on the second one for uh, political deliverance because I think that's yeah. what uh, maybe he meant about Messiah and that time. Yeah, uh, ito lang yung mga mga ano tawag dito. Mga possibility sister Mary Grace, no? Okay, Pastor. Thank you very much. I so, guess I explained <laughs> na maintindihan lang. I hope. Mm-hmm. Kasi di ba parang it's just showing all of us that all the characters or sino man ang ginamit ng Panginoon sa kanyang holy word is just you just have to have the privilege but thankful ka lang. Kasi katulad nito hindi naman perfecto wala naman. You just said to us we are immortal until the day until yeah. our day will come. So yeah. we will always make mistakes and if we allow ourselves to be used by God you know yun na lang din yun. Siya na rin ang nakakaalam sa puso nating lahat. No one is greater than yeah. him. Talaga. Yeah. So, thank you, Pastor. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Good evening, Pastor. Ah, sige. Uh, see you, Brad. Good evening, uh, Pastor Drigo. Ito. Um, uh, see you, Pastor. Uh, gusto, good evening. Gusto, gusto ko lang makashare ba ng idea? Sige, Yung pa. Uh, sa side, sa part ni John the Baptist. Kasi yung 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 sa life, sa life ni John the Baptist na uh, almost yung life niya parang gin, parang hinain sa pagdating uh, ng panahon na baka serve siya sa Panginoon mm-hmm. sa kahit Jesus Christ that's yeah. why sinabi niya uh, behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world mm-hmm. Yung, yung sa dedication sa naging life ni John the Baptist na sa huling, huling buhay niya na, na nasa prison siya, uh, confirmation lang talaga para sa accomplishment ng trabaho niya na kung yan na talaga si Jesus Christ, tapos na yung trabaho niya. Parang kahit na mamatay siya, kahit nag, uh, ano nang mangyari sa kanya, yung pagiging martyr niya, eh, complete na talaga yung trabaho niya. Kaya yung, yung sa huling buhay ng isang tao, yeah. dumarating, dumarating na naman sa kanya na parang may kinoconfirm lang talaga. Hmm. Para hindi rin binabas siya yeah. na mamamatay. Parang nakita ko yung parang sa tao, sa, uh, natural na response ng isang tao, pag dumating na ganyan yung pagkakataon at kasama na yun siguro sa kultura sa kultura nila na mm. uh, hindi naman nagda-doubt si Juan si John the Baptist pero parang at least satisfied siya na uh, kuan na ba na na, na na confirm niya na declare na talaga na yan na talaga yung Panginoon na hinihintay mm. niya mm. Siguro yun yung, sa akin ng uh, pastor, parang idea lang talaga. Na para to clarify lang ba na makadagdag lang ng idea na uh, hindi naman nalagay talaga sa, kwan, sa scripture. Pero yung may, mayroon naman kasing pagkakataon na kailangan din natin. Kasi uh, reflect din yan sa future na mga uh, kultura na uh, gagawin ng tao. Kasi pag, mm. may, yung, pag na, nang hindi naman doubt, pero kailangan talaga sabihin. Hindi hmm. pwede na i-assume uh, yung, yung pinaka-importante na pagkakataon, kailangan talaga na sabihin talaga. Hmm. Kaya minsan yung may mga tao na uh, hindi, hindi siya nagda-doubt pero kinoconfirm lang para mas sabi talaga. Kasi yung salita kasi, may, may power kasi, may declaration talaga, yung, yung word talaga may power, kailangan talaga i-declare. Kahit na salvation eh, kailangan talaga i-declare eh. Uh, ang faith, nandyan na yung faith, nandyan yung paniniwala, pero kailangan talaga sabihin. Siguro ba nga ganyan yung mga idea ba, uh, magkakatugma na yan na uh, kaya ang ginawa ni John the Baptist na para masabi talaga ni, ni Jesus Christ, uh, tinanong-tinanong na ganun, at saka yun, sinagot naman ng mga ni Jesus, ayun. Uh, Siguro naging kumplito na yung kuha ni John the Baptist. Hmm. Ay, yan, yan lang, Pastor. Siguro yung panang niya. Idea, idea lang. Yeah, thank uh, you, Pastor. Pastor, thank you. Ha? Thank you for for your contribution. Uh, thank you. Appreciate ko. 
Ah, uh, meron pa po ba? So, Pastor, uh, um, ang idea nila noon sa Misaya is political deliverance. Do you think even yeah. um, uh, Simon Simon the Zealot think about that? Um, Silo, parang walang pan, walang walang dialogue si Simon the Zealot. Uh, pero generally, lahat sila, lahat sila I think yung mga disciples as reflected sa sinasabi ni ni Peter na they were really expecting a political messiah. Uh, Kasi so, from the word zealot, uh, mandirigma siya, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh, parang siya NPA, ganun. <laughs> oh, kaya nga, ayun, kaya siguro ang idea. Uh, siguro, y- yan yung background niya. Uh, yan yung background niya. So, uh, and that, that is why napaka-interesting yung team ni Jesus Christ. He did not recruit someone from the Bible school sa sa Jerusalem. <laughs> hindi siya nagrecruit. Recruit siya sa uh, pumunta siya sa dag sa sa yeah. Oh, pumunta uh, doon sa Oh, pumunta doon sa Bundok. Kumuha ng isang yeah. Anak uh, ni Bars Savidi, uh, James and John. Uh, 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 P- Philip, uh, I think he's uh, a disciple of John the Baptist. Ah, uh, hindi ako sure pero but pero si na John and Andrew mga mga disciple yan. Ah, uh, sino pa si pumunta sa BIR, pumunta ko or IRS. Oh, uh, nuha niya doon si Matthew, ganun. So so <laughs> parang unusual yung recruitment ni Jesus Christ, Brad. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. We just really have to continue sa faith, Pastor, no? Kasi, Ayun. why did he ask? At, ito lang kasi, Pastor, why did he ask? What did you go out into the wilderness? The next, the seventh. So, dito pa rin tayo sa Matthew, Pastor. Why did Jesus say? Yeah. As they departed, Jesus began to say to the multitudes concerning John, what did you go yeah. out into the wilderness to see? A reed yeah. shaken by the wind? So, ang faith ba natin kung sa, eh, dito ako nagtatanong eh, sabi ko, did bakit ganyan tayo kung minsan John the Baptist was John the Baptist already at the time so perhaps because of what happened to him in the prison we're, we're all talking about the political things and sometimes ang introduction mo kanina pastor na nagtatakot tayo sa tao kaysa sa Panginoon so right. that is possible talaga so we really oh. need the, the power of God in our lives because yeah. Jesus doesn't want us to become a reed shaken by the wind he was yeah. a rock you know he was very yeah. strong So, ito lang na ito lang mismo na na faces ba? Hmm. Um, Jesus sa kanila. So, he was just testing them as well with their faith. That's why he was talking to them in parables. So, para bang naiintindihan ko ba ito? Am I really someone who follows Christ and I understand hmm. his language to me? Hmm. You know? Kasi kung hindi ko naiintindihan, I, I will never be able to see that si Jesus na pala yan. And for John the Baptist to even have that kind of feeling at the time. Perhaps he was tormented. Uh, hindi natin alam kung may yari sa kanya, politically inclined ba yan o hindi. Pero I, I'm just reflecting on myself as well, as we are all doing that, no? Na kailangan okay. talaga natin ang supernatural power ng, ng Holy okay. Spirit. Okay. Thank so, you, thank you sis. I'm just sharing my thoughts. Yeah. At sinabi din dito sa, sa Matthew 11, 12, sinabi ni Jesus, from the days of John the Baptist, Until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and if you are willing to accept it, it's Elijah who is to come. So he was talking about the sufferings of, of uh, the people of the kingdom, uh, because a lot of people are, are uh, uh, hates, hates the kingdom of God. At, Sadly, isa sa mga nag-suffer talaga si John the Baptist. Pero maganda naman si John ng Panginoon na, na John the Baptist the greater. Sinabi niya, uh, no one, uh, among born of women, there, there has a reason no one greater than John the Baptist. Uh, cousin Although, si John the Baptist, Pastor, no? Anak siya ni yeah, Elizabeth. Parang, uh, siguro distant, distant cousin siguro. Okay. Yeah. And do you think what kailan sila last nagkita? Ah, oh, I don't know. Kasi after na nag uh, nag ang interaction nila yung last na 
Jesus in John chapter chapter one, Jesus Christ was walking. Uh, after he was baptized, he was walking, and then John the Baptist was with his uh, disciples, and then they told him, "Behold, the Lamb of God." And he was the one young disciple, and they followed him. I think yun yung last, yun yung hindi last. Na, na, hindi niya siya na binisita ni Jesus sa uh, prison, right? Wa, walang account. Uh, pero I think uh, yun lang yung para sa akin yun yung yung last na 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 account that there was parang meeting nila. Sa uh, John chapter 4, sinasabi doon na that people that were baptizing, they were baptizing in the same place. Pero uh, they, they don't parang hindi sila magkakasama kasi iba na yung mga tao na binabaptize ni Jesus at iba yung binabaptize ni John the Baptist. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Okay, may may question pa? Sige. So kung wala na, thank you for your questions and uh, we're going to talk about the very famous feeding of the 5,000 tomorrow. I think you've heard uh, about the lesson over and over again. I hope we could learn something more uh, and and fresh ating Bible study tomorrow. So thank you po. Uh, I'll give the time to Pastor Simon. Okay. Tomorrow and um, let's see. I wanna. There we go. Uh, yes, I wanna just say good evening to uh, Tito Robert Abuso's daughter, uh, Sabrina Bianca, um, Tito Lena. Good morning, uh, Brother Z. Good evening, uh, Annabelle. Tito Annabelle, uh, Tito Chai, Tito Gold, Tito Mayas, and Edrin Rego. Okay, uh, thank you everybody for joining. Thank you for your questions. If you had any more, you could save it for tomorrow. And uh, let's see, I'm going to ask Tito Al if he can uh, close us in prayer. Good evening, good morning. Good evening, Thank you, Pastor. God bless. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. God bless.